Numbers chapter 10 today. Um, we get to have some names again. So, uh, I'm sure I'm going to pronounce them wrong. I'm probably going to pronounce them different than I did last time, but so it is. Uh, all that to be said, here we go with Numbers chapter 10. The Lord spoke further to Moses, saying, Make yourself two trumpets of silver. Of hammered work you shall make them. And you shall use them for summoning the congregation and for having the camp set out. When both are blown, all the congregation shall gather themselves to you at the doorway of the tent of meeting. Yet if only one is blown, then the leaders, the heads of the divisions of Israel, shall assemble before you. But when you blow an alarm, the camps that are pitched on the east side shall set out. When you blow an alarm the second time, the camps that are pitched on the south side shall set out. An alarm is to be blown for them to set out. When convening the assembly, however, you shall blow without sounding an alarm. The priestly sons of Aaron, moreover, shall blow the trumpets, and this shall be for you a perpetual statute throughout your generations. When you go to war in your land against the adversary who attacks you, then you shall sound an alarm with the trumpets, that you may be remembered before the Lord your God, and be saved from your enemies. Also, in the day of your gladness, and in your appointed feasts, and on the first days of your months, you shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings." and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings. And they shall be as a reminder of you before, your, before God. I am the Lord your God. Now in the second year, in the second month, on the 20th of the month, the cloud was lifted from over the tabernacle of the testimony. And the sons of Israel set out on their journey from the wilderness of Sinai. Then the cloud settled down in the wilderness of Paran. So they moved out for the first time according to the commandments of the Lord through Moses. The standard of the camp of the sons of Judah, according to their armies, set out first, with Nishan the son of Abinadab over its army, and Nathanael the son of Zuar over the tribal army of the sons of Issachar, and Eliab, the son of Helon, over the tribal army of the sons of Zebulon. Then the tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon, and the sons of Merari, who were carrying the tabernacle, set out. Next, the standard of the camp of Reuben, according to their armies, set out with Elizer, the son of Shedir, over its army, and Shalemuel, the son of Zerdeshai, over the tribal army of the sons of Simeon. And Eliasaph, the son of Duol, was over the tribal army of the sons of Gad. Then the Kohathites set out, carrying the holy objects, and the tabernacle was set up before their arrival. Next, the standard of the camp of the sons of Ephraim, according to their armies, was set out with Elishama, the son of Amahud over its army, and Gamaliel, the son of Petazor, over the tribal army of the sons of Manasseh, and Abaddon, the son of Gideone, over the tribal army of the sons of Benjamin. Then the standard of the camp of the sons of Dan, according to their armies, which formed the rear guard for all the camps, set out, with Ahazar, the son of Amashade, over its army, and Pajiel the son of Okran, over the tribal army of the sons of Asher, and Ahira the son of Enon, over the tribal army of the sons of Naphtali. This was the order of march of the sons of Israel by their armies as they set out. Then Moses said to Hobab, the son of Ruel, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, we are setting out to the place of which the Lord said, I will give it to you. Come with us and we will do good. We will do you good. For the Lord has promised good concerning Israel. But he said to them, 
I will not come, but rather will go to my own land and relatives. Then he said, please do not leave us, inasmuch as you know where we should camp in the wilderness, and you will be as eyes for us. So it will be, if you go with us, that whatever good the Lord does for us, we will do for you. Thus they set out from the mount of the Lord, three days journey, with the ark of the covenant of the Lord journeying in front of them for three days to seek out a resting place for them. The cloud of the Lord was over them by day when they set out from the camp. Then it came about when the ark set out that Moses said, Rise up, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those who hate you flee before you. When it came to rest, he said, Return, O Lord, to the myriad thousands of Israel. God bless the reading and hearing of his word. Amen.